Hey everyone, Arnaldo Offerman of Master School Dances. Want to show you another quick tip that's going to make your programming or live scene recall rather with Compu Show a lot easier. First of all, make sure you look at the description of this video for the new MidiCon uh, file. You'll be noticed that the big difference between the original MidiCon file and this one is that there's three little buttons here. Now what these buttons do, because your MidiCon doesn't actually have a button, is you'll know these wheels are actually pushable. You can click on the wheels. Before, there was really not a way to map it. This button represents this wheel being clicked. This button represents this wheel being clicked. And of course, this button represents this wheel being clicked. How can we use something like that? Well, let's go ahead and talk about a live X and Y wheel positioning. Right now you can see that I am using my InnoColor Beam LEDs on top of four totems. Some of you would like to have actual live positioning of XY values with the wheels. So how do we do that? First we're going to go ahead and go into new switch and we're going to go ahead and call this X. Okay. And of course we want it to be empty. Very simple. We're going to drag our uh, min and uh, X value whatever onto pan and we're going to make sure the minimum is on zero max is all the way up to the top and we save it pretty simple I'm going to go ahead and to make this even easier rename this to pan then we're going to go ahead and we can just really duplicate it and we're going to call it tilt I'm going to go ahead and uh, edit the tilt. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and cancel out the pan. We're going to put a min value on tilt, max, oh, excuse me, crap, min, zero, and then max 255. Now, of course, you could just use the regular dimmer. However, using the max and min will allow you to uh, limit the values independently later on if you wish to do so without much uh, effort. And we're just going to go ahead and save that and we're done. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and open up the three so you can see the values here. And let's go ahead and turn on the shutter. Let's make it blue because blue is like for pimps, right? So first I want to go ahead and do the pan. You'll notice that the tilt now controls that. I'm going to right click on dimmer, link to console, button dimmer, and I'm going to click on console and we clicked on the wheel. I'm going to right click on the wheel and you can basically have it on, like for example, if you want it, you can have it on selected page and then if you have, you know, multiple moving heads, you can have pan. So we control the pan of whatever selected page you have it on or whatnot. But I want it specifically to be for the NO color beam LED. I'm going to bring the wheel resolution up maybe on 269 we're going to save that. Another thing we're going to do is, then we're going to right click on this now. We're going to link to console and we want it to be for button activation. Click on console window and we're going to click on that. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to uh, go ahead and right click on tilt, button activation, click on console window and the second wheel. I'm going to go ahead and click on tilt it changes this over here. We're going to do dimmer, link to console, click on console window, click on the wheel, right click on the wheel, double click this. Uh, we don't want to select a page, we want it to now be on the tilt. Bring it to 269. And you're good to go there. So what does this do now? This means that when you physically click on the MidiCon wheel, your pan gets activated, and now you can move it. Of course, you can adjust your sensitivity, like we just did a minute ago, to see how far you know thin you want it. When I activate the tilt, I can now move both of them. Now remember, if you turn them off and turn them back on again, it will reset it back to the zero zero position. So if you do want to make sure you have them on the entire time, of course that changes if you click another switch. And of course you can change your value so it doesn't reset everything when you turn your pan and tilt on or off. But hopefully that gives you an idea at least to start out with now and is just to kind of tweak it to make sure that turning those on and off doesn't reset everything off or whatnot. 
So we are good to go. Also, I got an email. Exciting. So there you go. I hope that helps. Again, this is Arnaldo Offerman with Master School Dances showing you how to do a live mapping of your X and Y wheels or your X and Y valleys, excuse me, with the Medicon wheels. Remember, click on the link below so you can download the CSL2 file for the new Medicon. Now, how do you install that? Very simple. You just go here to your hard drive. You go to CompuShow. You go to your common console. Drag and drop it. Make sure your CompuShow is closed when you do that. And as soon as you turn, uh, open up CompuShow, it'll be in there ready to go. So I hope that helps. Again, if you have any questions or anything, make sure to put it in the comments below. Please be sure to subscribe. Tell your friends about CompuShow and that it's the coolest DMX software out there. Thanks so much and God bless.